All right, here's the engine, and as you can see, let me zoom out a little bit here. You can see here, this is the way the motor, it's pretty bad, it's pretty cheesy, uh, from Motor Max. Um, it's just silver. I, I did a foil on the first uh, air cleaner to see how that goes over and I also did it on the one valve cover and I didn't have I don't have bare foil here I used uh, the whole roll of stuff I got off eBay from direct from China it's real thin I was gonna use it for my air conditioner unit here but it's too thin it's almost like I thought it'll be good for window moldings and whatnot with uh, models so that's what I use is end up doing like a sheet of that at a time. Right now I'm going to do a quick wash on the motor here to kind of give it some visual interest. I think that's good for now. So here's the dash. Uh, I used metal foil uh, for in the uh, center of the steering wheel. The, I don't know if it'd be the horn. I guess this is actually the horn right here, but the center cap, I should say. The now the the actual real car had black from my reference photos. The, the hero car had black faced gauges. I'm not going to change these. I'm just going to leave that center one white. But I think it turned out pretty pretty cool. Looks better than uh, the, what it was. And now I'm going to show you where I'm at with the motor. I got it back in the car and did some uh, did that Chinese uh, foil tape foil on the uh, engine and ended up using a, a scrap sprue from a model for the uh, the radiator hose right here and there was no radiator cap on the radiator I cut a little piece of plastic out for that and added a couple hoses and a battery cable for whatever reason there's no positive side on this battery I don't know what's up with that but I don't feel like adding it right now Maybe, maybe later on I could add the rest of, uh, do some more detail onto it. 
We'll go ahead here and um, stick it back together and we'll see what it looks like. So there's the interior. Looks pretty cool. So I'll have to get a final shot of it on my turntable then once I get uh, clean my fingerprints off the glass and all that good stuff. There's some touch-ups to do on the the uh, gloss testers red is actually I mean it's a darn close match I got sand out and buff the back here where I filled the two holes but that paint the gloss it's just called gloss red from testers is a almost a hundred percent match on this red so that's pretty cool but I think it turned out pretty nice I just gotta I may still uh take the roof back off and just spray it white and be done with it but the for now the vinyl wrap doesn't actually look too bad hey everybody what's up this is Royce from Pedal Metal and this is part three of my under $20 uh, cheapy Christine movie car build uh, the car started out as a 118 scale uh, 58 Plymouth Fury from Motormax so you know, we'll go, this is the uh, final uh, segment of this for now. Uh, eventually, maybe I'll go back and do some more detail into the car. But here, I'll go ahead and show it off to you by spinning around on the turntable. It's very convincing uh, for the most part. I moved the antenna to the front. It had dual antennas on the back. Used a fine point marker to go in between the grill slats once I got done painting them silver. The gold trim on the sides was painted silver. And the hub caps, I originally painted silver, the center dog dish caps were gold. And now I did foil wrap them since the uh, first segment. I painted in the uh, lock here on the trunk. That was just red from Motor Max. I still may change this lens to clear. It's red and the real car it's clear. I highlighted the gas cap opening here, the door flap with a Sharpie marker. Gives it some depth. So there you go. That's the Christine uh, cheapy build and i hope you guys liked it and followed along with it and if you have any questions or comments you can post them down below